There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. gosh all right hey what's up everyone how are you welcome to the stream sorry my uh, my voice is a little vaguest out we had a great time this past weekend where's all this fucking energy coming from what are you talking about where this <laughs> energy is coming from we're performing live right now we're on air you just you're on it. you're on <laughs> welcome we learned recently uh henry ben mark ben ben oh ben. <laughs> This is the most Marcus, formal. I am going to say this is the most Henry. formal introduction you have tried to do for last podcast. Look at this. What was that? That's Mr. Hear. Marcus. Oh yeah. I just found out about Mr. Marcus. I did not realize that you were named after a porn star. I'm looking at his yeah, biography. Yeah. My here. parents named me after. After him. the porn star it was on purpose. <laughs> it was on purpose. Your mom. It was on the purpose. First thing yeah. That you did, he, they were watching Mr. Marcus pump some uh, cross-eyed woman in a hotel room, <laughs> and they were like, "Let's make a baby right." Now, well, uh -huh. did you, do you know what happened in August of 2012 with Mr. Marcus? Did I? He was the central person in an outbreak of syphilis among ah. porn performers, leading to a hold on the filming. Uh, the investigation revealed that Mr. Marcus was the first infected with syphilis and that he provided incomplete uh, information to the producers. Um, ah. So apparently... Uh, he assumed it was due to stress or vitamin C. Uh, oh, yeah, I must be just kind of well, worn down. I have all this shit coming out of my dick. I might have had, I had a bad weekend. He thought yeah. he had scurvy? Yeah, who, <laughs> who knows? Either way. I should have had some limes. <laughs> uh, honestly, if I ate some limes, I wouldn't be this sick right now. It's just the thing right now. But don't worry, my dick is clean. Which is <laughs> because, because he gave so many people syphilis, he went to jail. He wow. was sentenced to 30, 30 days in jail, 36 months probation for, quote, knowingly exposing at least two co-stars to syphilis I, after testing positive for the disease days earlier. I day, can't believe days earlier. they purposefully named you after this man. <laughs> Isn't that strange? <laughs> How do his parents even know about Mr. Marcus in Texas? I, I know, and this was only three years after he won for the Avian Award for Best Double Penetration Sex Scene. Yep, oh, and don't wow. forget about what his great work was in Teen Anal Gape Factory. Uh, so that's actually all about I, the working class. I'm really proud of the Teen Anal Gape Factory because they recently unionized. Yeah. And yeah. it's been so good. They finally got the benefits there. They got the, the gape holders that they've been asking for. They got yes. the gape off time so they can let the buttholes deflate. <laughs> shit normal. Un that have to come out. Un not, and it was such a huge win. <laughs> yes, the indeed. Class. I am fucking no. trash today, man. I've already been talking. Side stories was garbage. This is back. We're here talking again. I go, Kissel was on fire today, though. I'm not going to put him in that category. Oh, absolutely. I sound like a man who is a cigar. Um, and for those that want to see Mr. Marcus, uh, you can go to Pomona, P Pomona, California. He is 50 years old, and he's 5'8". Huh. 5'8". Hey, eight. man. That's an acting height. You know, they say a lot of those porn, the male porn stars are very short guys with really large cocks. Don't the even tell me that because Lexington, Lexington Steel, he's six too. Oh, oh yeah, mm. well he's big. He's specifically very large. Tommy Pistol's yeah. shorter than me, and he, he, that's his whole thing. Yeah, you know what? He's a fun guy. You know what? Uh, some of the nicknames are for Lexington Steel. Hmm. The Lexicutioner. Ooh. I wish that he wasn't okay. always about how he'd kill you <laughs> with his cack. Yeah, but honestly, you don't you want to thrive? Yeah. When you yeah. want to be more like that's my I would say I would want somebody who fucking builds me up. Yeah. Instead of destroying me all the time with this fucking big, huge No, he's... Cock. Henry, no, he's the Lexicutioner. You might not be on trial. You might be related or a friend to the Lexicutioner. It's like you think that everyone who hung out with an Executioner was killed? Executioners have time off, too. Yeah. That's true. Honestly, people say right here, uh, tr the, Marcus is getting a lot of love for being in the color maroon. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. People it's a like new, in the it's maroon. new shirt. That's plum. It's That's maroon plum. shirt. That's it. That plum? That's, that's maroon. Plum. Oh, I think I do plumish maroon. I think yeah. it looks nice. I think Thank you. Look really good, man. Thank you. It's very nice. It's a nice shirt. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, it's you new. very. You very. T it's a good. It's a fresh shirt. You're looking good. Um, I just. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm on under. I've been wearing the same underwear since Vegas. <laughs> Marcus. Well, you're in, <laughs> going. You're I in. I changed it while I was there, but I just haven't had the strength to do it since I got back. Yeah, you know, even if I have clean underwear or socks sometimes on the road, I just go with the one that's most comfortable. 
the one that's experienced. You know, <laughs> the, the the sights Seasoned. a little bit more. Seasoned. Yeah, it's like a cast iron skillet. I sent you this video, Marcus, my first video, because it's my mandate, and I sent you this video, and you never responded. It, because this video, you're talking about the New York video. Hmm. It's. Is it's you sad? Not, it's not real. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, you know, the last, when was the last time you saw somebody mopping up at the Metropolitan Avenue station? You lived off of that. <laughs> I have heard that this. I heard that this was not real. I heard that oh, we'll talk about Play this. The this video. Is, <laughs> they've heard that this is staged. But I, it, honestly, is, I've seen you people watch mopping. This, we will watch this. Up. The, the key here is is that you do see play it. And I'll, I'll show you. This where is my something stop. real is happening. I used to go through this. Well, wait, stop. Wait, ever, why is this real? Why you see, real? if you can zoom in. That man's Whoa. a genuine homeless man. That's a genuine homeless man who did shit in a bucket. I don't, don't know how he knew. Real? I don't know how he knew to film, but if you look at and zoom in on that video, you see shit that's coming out stop. of his ass. Oh, that's my L train. You don't think that video is I was real? At that, I, was... I was at that stop today, actually. Oh, I, yeah. I swear to God, that video. Why Why wouldn't it be real? Well, because, for, you. okay, one, I've never in my 15 years seen an MTA worker wear that jacket. For I one. Think he, but he was a custodian. I don't think he no, was MTA. Everyone who works in those uh, train stations, they're all MTA. It's all MTA. Two, I've never seen a mop and bucket man at any train station ever. Like, not even with the vomit. Not, I have never seen a mop and bucket man at yeah, any it's more train of a station. Ho it's more of a hose routine. It's a, it? it's a hose see, routine. I've seen mopping. And three, why were they filming in the first place? That is why were they filming the just a guy that's mopping? I don't know. I don't know whether or not he paid the dude to go shit in the bucket. Because, again, you're not watching this on your phone. If you watch on your phone and you zoom in, you see shit coming out of his ass. I think so there was he poop. Did shit. If I, he shat, that makes it real. Even I will also come forward and say, I, was, I think it would still uh, make it real. Uh, if it's even real, though, Dookie, it's real. I'm also going to give it to the audience. Last week when I showed the video of the Australian dude whipping the kid in the face, that is apparently a that is an Australian comedian. It was fake, even though I did look it up and it said it was real. And I think I was I was lied to well, by gosh, fucking Australians. Darn. God dang it! Well, do you <laughs> well did you look work? up? Do you get anything, Marcus? <laughs> what, did you what find anything? I have not found anything. The only thing that I you got to see who posted it first. That's the thing. You got to find the source of it. Go and if you smokes. find this, you find the source of it. Can you go to okay. Snopes? There Look at his are ass. a lot. I did. I do find girls shitting inside a s subway train. That's from scatfap.com. Oh. Uh, can we go. zoom in at all? Can we? Can we? Uh, oh, I gotta turn off my ad blocker to go to that. It has. Turn off the ad blocker there. Everyone walking in, all the hipsters and the fun folks are it like, has. oh, that I guy's taking see the, shit. You gotta see the shit coming out of his butt. He aggressively throws that down, and then let's see if we can't try to get you an image of I think that is a homeless man. That's not a comedian necessarily. Not a uh, purposeful well, like, what's comedian. the joke? What's, That's a natural the joke. He just, shot, he just shot in that bucket. Okay. All right. Well, one thing is at its finest. Uh, right. Downtown found, first, Terry Brown. I have found up ah, Snopes. It is false. Wow. What do they say? What's the what's the what's that breakdown? Okay, let's see here. It's a stage comedy prank sketch from comedian Morris Cornbread. Morris Cornbread. <laughs> yeah, man. Trump destroyed objective truth. You know, for he's committed fucking suicide. That's it. Show's over. Go and debunk him. And he can't handle a debunk. The man on the bucket is comedian Tino Romero. Wow, good for him. Yeah. But I think he did shit in that bucket. I don't think he did. Now I don't think he did. Because <laughs> now it was all just an improv everywhere skit. Dude, what I'm yeah. saying right here, look, you just G says it right here. The first shit you can see. I think that might just be as a shadow. Look at it on your phone. <laughs> look all at right. it on your phone. You can see it coming out of his butt. I mean, well, maybe he had a maybe he had one locked and loaded. Like he put a turd in between maybe he put a Snickers bar in between his butt cheeks and then plopped it be. out. If it's a comedy bit and the person actually shat. And I was the director. I would be upset. Yeah, man. I would have been like, Tito, <laughs> Tito, come it's, on, buddy. 
uh, you know, but I'll tell you what, that, t- t- for me, that kicks it up a fucking couple notches there, Emeril Lagasse style. If he did actually save his shit for the bit, that's pro. I think technically that makes you not pro. A no, pro the opposite. You dug shit in. so good. I don't it's know. method it's, acting. It's, it's weird. This, correct. this guy is actually, this is a character that he does. The shitting guy, the guy that shits yeah. in the bucket. Yeah. It's, I'm looking at his Instagram page. Like It's a character that he's done in a whole bunch of videos where he's like, Walking down the street with no shirt on, wearing those like ripped Big, up sweatpants yeah, yeah. and just yelling at people. He's just doing a crazy homeless man character. Cool. It's weird. Well, you know who he has that's to art. fight if he wants to do that? Ted Pillman. Yeah, that's true. Then well, he Ted better Pillman. have a conversation with Mr. Pillman because that's Pillman's bit. I don't know, man. I think Ted Pillman might be out of the negotiation stages in life. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he might be dead. No, he is still alive. We've is covered he? him before. Yeah, he's alive. He's still making YouTube videos, but they... Yeah. yeah, have dipped in quality and commitment. All right. Yeah, well, now he calls fun. himself Ted Bastard. Yeah, Ted yeah, Bastard. And he did have one good hit under Ted Ken Bastard. Bastard. Ken Bastard. Yeah. He had but, yeah. one good hit with the Bastard uh, name, but um, other than that, he hasn't been hitting it out of the park. Man, you know what I really got into watching when I was really fucking uh, all fucked up in the in the hotel in Vegas? A bunch of clips of Daniel Day Lewis's Lincoln. I was this watching him actually... perform as Lincoln. Yeah, because his his voice is really good in that. Yeah, he he acted mm-hmm. like Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, thinking about can... watching that again lately. It's been it's been on the list. Honestly, yeah, I watched the Lincoln. Scenes. I, I Here, watched. You want to, know watch the you best want to see the whole movie? Is oh, that's it. A, this great nation. That's it. And then his wife looks at him together. like. We are, now's the time. We have the mandate. We are you getting it? We are here. A bunch of husker buskers. <laughs> he said the word husker buskers. Husker buskers. Like, Buzzards guts. Buzzards <laughs> guts, Winston. Buzz you're going to these votes. Let's Buzzard change. guts. Yeah, he's now you're just doing guts. Ma- you just you're just doing Michael Jackson now. No, no, <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> I have a Michael Jackson video. You're being ignorant. Well, you're being right. ignorant about slavery. I'm actually. Let's do this slavery. Michael Jackson. Pra- I was going to go to a different video, but Marcus, you have triggered me. This is, for my understanding, is this Travis? Is this real? Oh, 100%. Travis is saying it's 100. Okay, all right. It better be. From now. my understanding, this is Michael Jackson practicing Billie Jean. In There's his a hotel mandate room. here. We're changing the concept. And Who's it's really interesting because you see him move, and I think it's real. That's MJ there. That's not I think Michael it's real because he's so tiny. Yeah, that is. That is absolutely not Michael Jackson. <laughs> you don't think that's Michael Jackson? No, it is not. That is a gray. That is absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that's Michael now? No, I will not listen to your lies. I'm Abraham Lincoln. That man is nowhere near, anywhere close to Michael Jackson. <laughs> you don't think that's Michael Jackson? I think this is Morris Cornbread. <laughs> no, it's not Morris Cornbread. That is my closest personal friend, Morris Cornbread. That's Michael practicing. That is not Michael practicing. It is. I got it off of a very trustworthy site. That's Gollum. And then this is Michael. What in fucking Odin's a... earth uh, makes you think that that is Michael Jackson? Because he's got it is not nose. remotely Michael Jackson. It's definitely remotely Michael Jackson. I mean, it looks it is just rem- like that. I remotely, yeah, remotely could be Michael Jackson. You don't think that's Michael Jackson? I is fought it? and died. To they said it was Michael Jackson. Jackson. I do not believe. I, I would not be proven to believe that. that <laughs> this is an early '80s Michael Jackson. Maybe it's Michael Jackson after he was burned, because he's got the he's got well, the hat, the cap, perhaps after a nose job. I have been promised by the description of this video that that is indeed authentically Michael Jackson. I have a crosslet hat on. Michael Jackson has been dead for 25 years. He was replaced by a double. I think it's ignorant. <laughs> what you've done is ignorant. What you said is ignorant. I'm the 47th. What, what president? 16. We're the 46th now. <laughs> 16 president. That's me. Well, I, was told that was me, practicing. I also went through a small history of the moonwalk. It's actually been happening quite often in the 1930s. G- uh, Jeff, Jim Van Dyke, Jerry Van Dyke, Jerry Van Dyke. He did the moonwalk. Jerry Van Dyke, the guy from Coach? Jerry Van Dyke from Coach? Rick Van Dyke? Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> no, Jerry Van Dyke was the, that guy was from the, coach. the guy from they, Coach. Yeah, He was friends with Dahmer. Cool. Vegas yeah. has made us all just so much worse. It's Cab Calloway. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even go to Vegas. I was here. I had a relaxing weekend with my wife. Wow, humble brag. 
humble brag. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'll tell you well, this, Jerry Van Dyke was Dick Van Dyke's younger brother. Yes, of course. Yeah, man. He died first. He did. Coach disease. Dick is still alive. <laughs> Do you guys know that the set of Coach was fucking, um, it was cursed? Was it? Yeah, the, the other guy was in it. He fucking committed suicide. Dobber? The other guy died where the, when the bridge Craig, collapsed. Craig T. Nelson. Yeah, he <laughs> died. Yeah, Craig, Craig T. Nelson Nelson's died. Alive? No, he died when the moth. He died in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. When the, the moth. The 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 <laughs> 2017. The second time, yeah. Yeah. It's know. crazy. It's crazy, man. You should look it up, dude. Snopes. Oh, uh, speaking, uh, speaking of Mothman, we watched uh, Mothman Prophecies a couple nights ago. That movie holds up. Love that movie. Mothman Prophecies, wonderful. I love that movie, but I do wish it embraced more of the weird stuff. A little bit more, I, but yeah, it's but it is funny. Like the uh, the guy that's supposed to be John Keel, his last name is just Leak. He's fucking re- <laughs> <laughs> name's Billy Leak. Why do you call you that? Look down. Um, all right, Nan, Nan, do, my name you is know Billy what Leak. we've this gotten? Is my daughter uh, Samantha Slip and Fall. I'm gonna ask the chat right now because we think that we've basically covered Mothman, but people keep telling us to do an even deeper dive into Mothman. Like they really want it. Like, is this chat? Is this what the chat wants? I mean, we can. It's just that the you know we covered the Mothman pretty extensively on the uh, the Men in Black episode, and the Mothman yeah, that's what story I think. is so wrapped up with the Men in Black story, because you can't really tell Mothman without talking about Men in Black. Uh, so we already kind of told it, but there was the further Mothman stories would just be people... Ah! Seeing a Mothman. Yeah, well, because like that's what it Mothman. is. Which is, we could do, eventually we might do something like that about the current flap of Mothman we're seeing. Yeah, there which, could be. Which we'll, we'll cover. Because, it, yeah, it's, a lot of the Mothman stuff, it's uh, what we call the... Uh, I, they saw a thing and it was weird. Because yeah, that's the problem is that an episode can't just be, and then another man saw another Mothman. And yeah. then that's the story. You have the, there's <laughs> yeah. got to be more shit. I saw shit. another yeah. Mothman. Can we do a four-parter on how I saw another Mothman? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please leave us alone. Sir? Um, well, let's continue with our music then. So this is a Beatles. Beatles a bit faster. Beatles a bit faster. 100% real. This is Beatles, but faster. Beatles. That is the Beatles. I will That's confirm that is that is George Harrison and John Lennon. Yes. Yeah, sure. That's right. And Ringo is That's on drums. Not Just going to listen to them do Get Back. <laughs> I don't think we can legally play this. I think we'll have to take this off before it goes on YouTube. Bit faster, do you think? Bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fun, huh? That's fun. I that like it. Fun, man. Back. Get back. Okay. Yeah, because we have to cut that. Because that, that I don't fire. think the rest of it can be on the be on YouTube. But that's really oh, we fun. wouldn't want to take money away from the Beatles. <laughs> the thing about the Beatles <laughs> yeah, is that we, it's we the even indie think about artists. Those songs, yeah. I don't want to fuck with these indie artists. I don't like taking money out of their mouth. And yeah. everybody knows that John Lennon sh- should still be dead. Can I can I share a little bit of a Beatles <laughs> trivia that I learned on LinkedIn? Ah, oh, okay. on LinkedIn. It, it was Ringo's birthday yesterday. And he's 81 or something. 80, 80, 79 holding. 80 young. But uh, he, apparently, he was the one that suggested that they do not play live anymore. Yeah. So really? they So, and which was a crazy thing to do because obviously, you know, a lot of musicians, their whole income comes from live touring. Sure. And, but he said that we have to just do studio sessions and prevent any uh live shows because everyone was screaming the riots the performance yeah they couldn't screaming so loud they shows. couldn't hear anything yeah. they stopped live shows altogether and then that's when they started making uh sergeant pepper's lonely hearts club and they did all the soundscapes changed. and shit because Ringo? it was too difficult to do live so because they didn't have all the stuff to put it on stage to do it live so they made everything kind of like radio heady so they made it more and more dense on the he record was the he was the backbone the star the emotional glue for the Beatles. In many ways, he really was. And oh, yeah. It's the single greatest idea I've ever heard a drummer have. Yeah, Patricia Brayton, what are you doing on LinkedIn, Travis? Are you looking for a new job? 
I'm yeah. friends with Ringo on LinkedIn. Wow. Whoa. Why are you on LinkedIn? Did you get a notification? Ringo Starr has something to tell you on LinkedIn? Yes, he's my he's my new connection now. Are and you, I'm trying huh. to get him I'm trying to get him to uh, write me a recommendation actually. For what? Being the uh, the uh, the I am the fourth member of Last Podcast on the Left, so I'm trying to get some tips for how to leave a great impression the uh-huh. same way that he did at 80 years old. <laughs> 80. I see. That's actually great. I really That's appreciate that. That was nice. Dead. Yeah, because he was only he did the uh, train show. I love Ringo. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he, he did the train call, show. I get to be George Harrison. I want to be George Harrison. Oh man, he died of liver cancer, man. Yeah, that's did true. He? But he died a ways after. I don't think that pancreatic he, cancer. I don't. Th- I thought he didn't like drink or do any of the uh, drugs or anything. I thought he was. He died. Very... The, he died bad. Really? Oh did yeah. He died yeah. bad. He did. So who's the John Lennon and the Paul McCartney of our group? You have uh, to be John, and I'll be Paul. Oh man, I get fucking shot. I'm the cool revolutionary <laughs> genius. Yeah, dude. And you're the you're the popular front man. But I've been banging <laughs> chick with one leg for like 25 years. But that's fine. She was a beautiful woman. She was a beautiful woman. Honestly, yeah. probably the worst part of her was the leg she lost. Could be. That was probably the gross part. She probably had one bad foot. Maybe, maybe, maybe she had one grumpy foot. Did Actually, she lose her- it from an accident or? I think uh, it was, yeah. The one like the one like um, she was Linda, the Linda, yeah. Linda, yeah. No, Linda, no, not Linda. No, sh- no. Linda was the beloved one from Wings. That That's was right. The beloved wife. It was. Uh, well, I the, think you loved both of his father. wives. Yeah, whatever. But he also the one legged model was who he was. Uh, she tried to take him for all his money. She divorced oh. him big time. <laughs> Man, to be, imagine be- Heather Mills. Heather Mills, that's right, Heather Mills. Heather Mills, that's the, right. just the hell of a way to go through life, to just be Paul McCartney's one-legged wife. What's wrong with that, dude? That's I, fucking, I right want to be Paul McCartney's no-armed, no-legged wife. <laughs> hey, I'll not? show up at his house, I'll fucking be just a torso, I'll suck his dick. He's 80 uh-huh. years old at this point. We're going to stick in our rock block, because I think that this video, you know, we, we talk about group dynamic. Obviously, we have us three, we're a group, and then we have a larger group, friends, we have a lot of group. Well, group dynamics are something we always work on. Guns N' Roses, they have, I think they ha- they may have some issues yeah. to address, but I don't know, or maybe not. This they is got a video. Better. They're having fun now. I think they're having fun. But this video, I think you're just going to like it, Marcus, because this is just Slash. Let's just show the video here. It's just Slash doing the solo, and then everyone else in the band just watches him. Yeah. And they wait for him to finish. We got Duff over there, Axel. He's going to hang out. Oh, this is new shit, too. I like the hat. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, guy. man. They all just watch him. Oh man, this is fucking hang out. He's just <laughs> man. The dude on the left is like serious about. That's a good bit. This is a bit that they rehearsed. They could not be. I don't think they have. I think it's true overall disdain. No, that's a bit, <laughs> man. That's a thing. <laughs> they liked it. They relax. They, they liked go. it. <laughs> He's looking good, man. I like when Axel Rhodes is fat. Same thing with Slash. Well, now he's like mid fat. fat. He's not fat fat. No, they're good fat. They're like normal fat. And Duff McKagan. That's how I want to look when I'm that age. Look, I think looking it, strong, you know? You're close. That is very cool. You kind yeah. of have a Duff body. You need, need to lift more weights. Oh, I'm good. I've, I started going back to the gym this week. Dude, I wish Did that you? you and I could lift yeah? weights together, I was... Marcus. I wish that you and I could just go get fucking huge together. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be crazy if we just start fucking powerlifting, get protein You have to loaded. do it, man. Henry, but then you would have to do all of that. Yeah, but we just do it for no, fun. Dude. It'd be fun no, if we were getting results together. No, we could like fucking feed each other like creatine. Like we could like make each other like protein drinks, drinks and like and creatine and shit like that. But we don't tell each other what we're putting in each other's drinks. We just make it special. Like I think you're going to like this. I think you're going to like this one. I think you're going to like this, this one. This is going to make your veins bigger. Yeah. I really think that was Michael Jackson. You guys don't think that was Michael Jackson in that hotel room? No. I don't think so. Do it not. seemed a little oddly because sk- Michael Jackson was skinny, but Michael Jackson I, I don't know was ever the YouTube. sickly. I, I, I did check the YouTube mm-hmm. page. Even if it isn't him, I think it's nice to let the world think it is because there's two number one impersonator. There's like two close. million views on it, and all of the comments are just love you, Michael. Just like all he needed was uh, a square foot to make the world sing is st- stuff it. like that. There's like a lot of comments yeah. like that. <laughs> and the last time I showed someone doing the moonwalk, somebody else died by falling onto a chair. Well, he looks just like the guy who killed himself during that video. That is true. 
Well, all right then. I don't have. Uh, well, let's see here. Yeah. I oh, he says here in the chat. Someone says, "Pick up the pre-workout called I Am God." <laughs> the pre-workout. Can you fucking imagine that? A fucking a drink called I'm afraid. I don't know if I need all that creative it's a drink. power. Yeah, that's a pre-workout is, unless you booted up your fucking asshole, but I don't think a lot of people do that. Jesus, from insane labs? From <laughs> and labs and labs is spelled with a Z? <laughs> I a am God. It's a, it's a powder you pour, you put into a, a, a whatever you do. Wow. Energy, Whoa. focus, endurance, power. Whoa, I am dude. God by I'm insane labs. I'm getting really into this it before. It promises you deity-like strength. Yeah, dude, I'm getting into that shit right before we start touring, man. I'm going to get fucking weird big. I want to yeah. just work Don't... just my upper half. No lower weights whatsoever. Good, good. That's a good just idea. Bigger and bigger up top. Bigger arms. I want to work out my neck because my yeah. neck is too thin. Get my neck big and thick. Just when it comes to uh, when it I'm comes changing to the insane labs, the I am God formula, just make sure to read the legal disclaimer, which is statements regarding dietary supplements have not been evaluated by the FDA and are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or health condition. Caffeine content from all sources, 400 Bro, milligrams. It, it helps defeat a bunch the disease of powdered of, caffeine. It, it defeats <laughs> the disease of weakness. Oh my God, they do actually. Insane Labs also has another powder. That is called Insane Veins that has the fucking Jason Voorhees hockey mask on the bottom. <laughs> fucking make my veins fucking theok. You want to be a boy Nuts. whose mother was beheaded and you were drowned, but now yeah. you come back once a year to kill a bunch of camp counselors. Oh, God, it's called fucking... a vascularity beast. Yeah, dude. I want veins that look like fucking traveling cocks all over my arms. Like, I want the type of veins where just big, just like yeah. you see them beat all the time. The fucking sly looks good, man. No, yeah. I got them veins. No, yeah, you got, doing... you got some veins. Yeah, they're not doing good right now, but, you yeah, know. They're all, they're all, we're all thin right yeah. now. They're they doing this. good right now. Well, there's sometimes that like when I go to the gym, like they're like fucking like bah, like they're huge. Oh yeah, you got to right do now. Your, you got to do these. Do you do these at the gym? Hmm? No, but he no. does some of these. That's the forearm. <laughs> no, this is for your forearm. <laughs> That's why he's jerking off guys in the gym, huh? That's what he's doing. That's um, what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, speaking of strong people, let's yeah, do this PTSD PTSD, man. video. <laughs> I'm really looking good, man. <laughs> Very good. Let's do this PTSD Action Man video. I didn't watch the last minute, so it could really get horrible, but I thought it was kind of funny. Okay. Big veins. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a, it's a <laughs> statement against war. Action Man. Okay, Action Man. Casualties. For PTSD Action Man, danger lurks at every turn. He never feels safe, not even in his own home. <laughs> You can to block out the memories. Look, look, look. With no support from HQ, it's a It's Matt Berry's voice. Looks like we're on our own. <laughs> PTSD Action Man now comes with Thousand Guards Dare Action. With time running out, only you can stop the pain. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Action Man. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Just oh, that's that's from the show Snuffbox. Oh, that's Snuffbox. Oh, man. Snuffbox is but Matt, Matt Mary is fucking hilarious. He's great. Really that's don't great. work. His spine shattered by an enemy IED. Action Man is crippled by constant pain. With his bowels out of action, only a colostomy bag can save him from disaster. Reloading. But despite his injuries, there can be no rest. Oh. Sadly, completely accurate. Uh, ow. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> There's more. New cereal with a golden. Is this just taped off of television? <laughs> or did they do it? Oh, like, it's like a bit. Like the ultimate sacrifice with new dead Yeah, reloading is fucking hilarious. Blown to bits by bombs. It's up to you to pick up the pieces. We lost <laughs> Identify the body with dog tags. This is much more accurate than G.I. Joe. 19 years old. Reward him for valiant effort. You've been promoted. <laughs> <laughs> and who did the brave in time? Let's do it. Bury your 
Dead Action Man with full military honors. Present arms, fire! <laughs> Coffin sold separately. Oh, oh coffin sold separately. And we'll give you a I think we have one. Okay, there we go. Uh, that is <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, Matt Berry. Like fucking hilarious, man. Yeah, he's great. Have you ever watched any of the rest of it? Have you ever seen uh, Dark Place? Yeah, Garth Marenghi's Dark Dark Place is amazing. You can't fucking find it anywhere now. I used to have it on these burned DVDs, and it's yeah, nowhere to is be it, found. I want to say I saw it on some bullshit, but I love that show. It's been so long because so also good. the what's his Fox? name from um, uh, IT crowd. That guy. The guy with the afro. Yeah, he's oh, it's, in it's it. It's all, every single one of them are on YouTube. There you go. Dark yeah. Place oh, no. is so <laughs> fucking good. It's been so it's long. Great. I like I like, uh, I like the British humors. Yeah. It's like uh, if Dyson uh, Hasenkoft was um, the star of a television show. Like Dyson Hasenkoft mixed with Very a, guy, a guy who looks like Mark David Chapman. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, Matt Berry's fucking hilarious. Matt Berry, I, I got a couple drinks with him once because um, we used to have the same agent, and he was. Did you guys kiss? Uh, I <laughs> would have him. Did you kiss Matt Berry? I fucking would have, but he likes girls. Uh, what kind of drinks did you get? Gross. It was booze drinks? Did you get whiskey drinks? I don't remember. Did you get a cider drink? No, I get a lager drink. <laughs> like a song that reminds me of the good times. The drink a song reminds me of the bad times. Uh, uh, no, Matt Perry so is just nice. Um, all That's right. the story. That's Very all nice. I was going to fucking say. <laughs> was that he was nice. He said hello to me. We <laughs> joked around, and then he walked away from me. And he was very nice. He is handsome, and he smells good. I actually have to say this next video, I'm immensely impressed with everyday people. Every day. Yeah. And this guy, Are this you? Guinness, this Guinness yeah. No Touch. I am actually pretty. Imp People do funny things. Um, Guinness, the No Touching Glass here. This, so this is a guy. He says he can drink the Guinness without touching the cup. Uh -huh. And I want you guys to see this because I don't think you're going to believe it if it's possible or not possible. I love but, alcoholics you, with you skills. Do, it, Henry? do you think this guy's going to be able to do it? I just drink normal. I'm going to say, go. yeah, I'm going to okay. say, yeah, he can do it. Because so if he doesn't do it, no. it's a waste of a video. Honestly, it's Henry, kind of a waste of time. Henry, you're a no on this, actually. So I'm if just... he doesn't do it, then you win. But if he does do it, you lose, Henry. I, I, I know that he has to do it, or why would you show the video if he didn't do it? Come on, stop it. Stop it. Come on, go, go, go. You're going to explain it. Go to go. No, just go. Do it. I love pubs. I miss this shit. You this pint out of that glass without touching it. Anyway, go on. Hands on side with your hands. Folks, can't touch with your hands. All right? <laughs> so awesome. No, it's pretty good. No, this is a good beer trick. This is going to be very, very difficult. Yes, it is. He's allowed to touch that gun with his hands. My whole body's shutting down just watching. I just remember reminding of the, I'm getting flashes of Vegas. Well, don't keep turning around. He's like, he's like a. <laughs> we got to get back to Ireland. Can't wait to go They're back. They're in England. Oh, they're in England? Oh, yeah. Those are very... well. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people drink Guinness. You drink Guinness in America. <laughs> oh, I know oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. How is he going to do this? This is real alcoholic is skill. Possible? This is the type of thing that you're a terrible father, but everybody loves you. You know, like no way. This is dad of the year. And now can he do it? The best best. In one, in one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lad. That's a right lad right there. That's a right fucking lad. See that? I would have lost twenty bucks on that. If we had that set up and be like, bitch, I can drink this beer without touching it. I'd be like, no, I, like I don't think you can. And I would have lost 20 pounds or $25. But on some level, you would have to practice that, right? Yeah. A lot of times. Oh, I'm sure. He, no, that's his, that's, his, that's his bit, man. That's why they had it all filmed. They knew this guy could do that. Oh, why yeah. Why don't we learn how to do that, Kissel? You guys should. You guys should. You guys should really learn how to do that. We don't have any bar skills. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have, do have any fun. Like, go we bar. magic tricks. He can't make a coin disappear. He can't like fart out his dick. He can't like. Kissel doesn't have any impresses people. Who who would we try to impress at the bar? Everybody. You just said how much you're a fan of the modern day of the of the regular person. 
Don't yes. you want to just make all the lobs? That's why I'm a fan of regular people, because they do that stuff. I can't do that. Do you have any idea how many hours it took him to learn that? Yeah. How many shattered glasses? How long? A lot of just ridiculous. Hotel rooms. A lot of lonely nights. It's way we too sit, hard. Yeah, but we sit now we go hotel rooms for hours. Yeah, what do you want to do? Room skill. You want to do that? You want to get twelve Guinness? We want to get a bunch of pints, bring a bunch of Guinness, and go try to practice that in a hotel room? <laughs> Not this week, but I could do it next week. Once my body clears out, once I get some of the, when I once I finally take the shit my body desperately needs. Isn't that weird? The way the body holds in some of the things that you wish it would get rid of. There's mm -hmm. like a dump, and there's like one dump. It's a log, key log, that's sitting right here, the base, the have very top of my intestine. Your have you tried squeezing your stomach at all? I actually did yoga today, and I twisted. And that's supposed to make you shit. Sometimes I'll do, you, I'll do yoga, and the first thing I do is take a huge fucking shit. If you don't have a squatty potty, you can just put a bunch of books on the floor and use those as well. I just yeah. lifted my... I don't even fucking have to do any of that. You know what I do when I shit? Literally, if I need to, I just lift it up. Yeah. I just lift up my knees or I'll hold them like this. I hold it like this just so that the shit can come out. Because for a while, we had the squatty potties. But the thing about the fucking squatty potty is that they, they just sit there mostly. And I stop using them. And then all of a sudden, they can go kind of like grime and... Kind of yeah. like soak scum. They just become dust-filled dust bullshit. So I just like, well, I can just hold up my legs. I had do enough like lower ab work to just hold up this. Yeah, how long? How long are you gonna keep the camera there? Do you think? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know? I sometimes full on crowd. Like I'll I'll perch on the actual thing itself. Like I'll to perch shit on in the, the back toilet. of it. No, I'll perch on it, to shit inside. But yeah, I'll perch on top of the toilet itself. Like on the gargoyle rim style and do that gargoyle style, yeah. Dude, it yeah, works. Maggie it's just said stand on your toilet seat, gang. Literally, that people said that before you even did it, Marcus. That's how far ahead you are. Hey, man, I'm there. I am. Oh, oh yeah, there's a vein. Uh, Next gen. Oh, oh yeah, there's yeah, that thick that ass oh, yeah, vein, that thick bro. Yeah, vein. That's that vein. Oh yeah, bro. that's that vein. Yeah. Heroin needles weep looking yeah. at you like, oh my god, that Ooh, we gotta get into those veins, man. Oh yeah, yeah. man. Timer's hand. Do you think you'd be super good at heroin, Marcus? Dude, look at those heroin. Veins. You would be like the most heroin of all the heroin. I don't yeah. know, man. I think they would collapse since they're so big. They'd collapse real fast. Yeah. Oh, is that what yeah. happens? I don't know, but I would imagine. I would imagine. I want. I don't want to give myself reasons to do heroin. Like you're I don't. Not gonna start doing heroin. You're almost forty years old. No one's yeah. doing heroin anymore. Yeah, and honestly, the thing about heroin is the worst part of it. Truly, is that you get constipated. Damn. No, I, don't I think it's the worst that. part. Yeah, I don't want any of that shit. I need stuff that yeah. makes me shit. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like booze and weed, the stuff the Native Americans gave to us. Yep. Yeah. I like Megan that Fox shit because they're always she shitting. Megan Fox says she didn't have a good time on ayahuasca. Oh, yeah? yeah she just... said she went to hell and back. <sighs> and I'm like, well, maybe because you're a horrible person. Whoa, Megan Fox, you don't know her. You don't know her. You don't no, know she's her. great. You don't I love know her. If she's I bad love her. Be... Honestly, if you met her, I bet you she'd be. She wouldn't talk to us. But don't even look at me. Yeah, what are you talking <laughs> about? I, I, she could be maybe nice. Maybe I don't know. I don't trust anyone who's on the cover of Yahoo. On the cover of Yahoo, what? Yeah. Dot com. <laughs> Yahoo dot the cover of Yahoo dot com. The front page. The cover. <laughs> The cover. Yeah, why are you talking about like, who's, who's on the cover of Yahoo.com? Go to Yahoo.com. Right that Actually, it's a... Britney. It's Britney, Ben. Well, I Britney, Britney is on the cover of Yahoo.com. Free Britney, man. Freer. I don't even. I'm following that saga. I don't understand how Britney can't just be like, I'm an old bitch. Fuck you, dad. Punch him out and take all the money. I she made know. all of it. She She's signed old. the documents back. In, I think it's because if you do sign the dotted line, that when you're says 10, you're crazy. She was 14 years old or something. It was long, man. But I think that when you do sign that line back at some point, then they can hold that over you for forever, saying like you said you were crazy, and then they just take all your money. No, they drove her. In, they drove her insane. They gaslit her. She should break out like that. Uh, secretary broke out of Sea Org, where they she stuck and she like hid in the the. Uh, cat like she went into the fucking trunk she, of a car and got out like she just needs to like get on the road and get the fuck out of her really place. she can't leave her house Britney they Spirit. made her they made her put an iud in her body oh my god they won't let her have a child they yeah. shots jacked she up needs, i need to so see she needs to hire her revenge. helicopter and leave yeah britney's revenge a horror movie starring britney of course because she can act and i love her and she just massacres all of these people who have taken all of her money how is Lou Pearlman? He went to prison for doing something quite similar. 
I mean, Lance Bass didn't need an IUD, but... Seriously, though, but guys, look up uh, on page 7. They did a very uh, detailed story of uh, Brittany's life. Leave Brittany alone. Go punch your dad, Brittany. All right, let's see how nuclear uh, bombs affect cars. Just never, because that's the thing, never sign that piece of paper that says you're crazy. She didn't know. She thought her dad no, was... of course not. She was kind of crazy. Look at this guy. So this car is a security patrol. Yeah, we'll see how good that does. Let's see what happens when a nuke goes off nearby. No audio. Oh, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Boo! Yeah. That's fucking sweet. I love that. I love car. these Adam is... Central videos. Yeah, this was a test, I think, from like the 40s or something. I want an atom bomb. But the thing that's kind of cool is it shows the paint. The paint is just like, we got to get out of here. And then <laughs> the car is like, woo! It's fucking dope. It's a shock just wave. Just imagine. How close would you want to be to the blast? If you, if I, I mean, you definitely just want to be right there so you die. Yeah, oh yeah, for certain. First wave. Because this gets pretty freaking like, oh, hey, we're going to school. Uh-oh. Bye, kids. Bye. Now you're going to fucking hell. Whoa. <laughs> That's fucking sweet. Uh, this man, we got metal music, man. We, we actually got to do Hiroshima and uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I, really... I just watched a documentary Woo. series on Jeez. Hiroshima specifically, and it's, boy, howdy, one of the worst things that's ever happened on Earth. It's I do... fucking brutal. It's so brutal. Definitely have I want to do Hiroshima. Definitely. I definitely want to do Hiroshima. I do one point want to do Fukushima. Yeah. Want to talk about like because that that is also very interesting to watch a to because Chernobyl kind of got really covered by the television show, which was interesting. Obviously, there was probably a lot of like romanticism oh, yeah. put in there as well, but there is a lot. And there was another big podcast series on Chernobyl, or, uh, but the idea of watching a nuclear facility break down is really terrifying, and also learning more about atomic weapons. But again, it would just be fun to have one and drive it around. Wouldn't it be cool if you have it where you just put leather seats on the top of it and you drive, you can drive it, and you just don't like don't make. <laughs> Me mad. Don't do Don't it. Don't make me mad. I'm here well, for my pilot audition. <laughs> speaking of mad, I have been talking a lot about my love for Andy Rooney. I recently oh. found on YouTube they have every single Andy Rooney breaking down the truth. This um, is someone Andy asked, Rooney. what was the name of the documentary that you were watching, Marcus? Uh, it was a BBC Select documentary. Oh, oh is this with Lex at Lexator? Lex Lexi <laughs> no, that's the drugs you're both on. Oh, I see. Lipitor. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, you go ahead, Ben. I'll look up this thing. All right, look Ugh. for it. So this is Andy Rooney. He's talking about bottled water. But make sure you listen to everything because he's got – when he hears the water came from a virgin forest, you guys are going to fucking love this shit. Andy Rooney telling the truth once again. It's Hiroshima, right, the Andy real history. Water on the brain, sort of. A lot of people aren't drinking the water that comes out of their faucet these days. Bottled water has become a $9 billion business. This is one of the most popular, Poland Spring Water. It isn't Polish, it's from Poland Spring, Maine. This pint costs $1.35 <laughs> in the CBS you cafeteria. Fill up a car with it, watch this. Now just think about that. There are eight pints in a gallon. So if your car ran on water instead of on gas, and you had to fill a 15-gallon tank with this, it would cost $162 to fill your tank with water. Why would you do that? Evian it makes no says sense. it's the official bottled water of the U.S. Open. Beach Nut added fluoride to its water if you have a craving for fluoride carries a warning what? this is not an oral electrolyte solution do not use to manage diarrhea well thanks for the warning beach i'll be careful not to do that Valvik comes from france a long way to bring a bottle of water you stole your whole Saratoga personality spring water <laughs> ultra pure hawaii water this is sources of virgin rainforest it claims hold on when does a rainforest lose its virginity anyway? <laughs> That's a fancy bottle. I bet that bottle costs more than the water. The sign <laughs> is owned by Coca-Cola. says the water is treated by reverse osmosis. This is I thought I tasted television. something funny. We took some of these bottles to a testing <laughs> laboratory called Yorktown Environmental <laughs> Services to this see is the what house. was in them. We talked to the owner, Al Padovani, a water expert. From all the waters I've seen that are bottled waters, um, and I probably haven't tested all of them, but they're very much uh, dead water is what I call. They have nothing in them. I drink tap water. Oh, yeah. The water that you get out of a municipal <laughs> supply or a well supply has more chemicals that your body needs. I'm going to drive my car. My in office the is track. on the same floor with the staff of the CBS Early Show, about 60 people. Almost all the women working there have a bottle on their desk. It's like a security blanket. It's always there. They carry it with them wherever they go. 
I think what? more women than men drink bottled water, too. Out by the elevator here, there's a water fountain. The water is cooled, that? very good, and the filter is changed regularly. I have okay. never seen anyone drink this free water. <laughs> so maybe I'll try and get in on this bottled water boom. I We've designed this Rooney water bottle, and I'm going to fill it from the fountain here and see if I can oh, sell asshole. it to the women on this floor for a dollar twenty-five. I'm Morley Safer. We'll be back uh, next week. No comment on it. <laughs> no, he doesn't have time, man. Rooney, Rooney does what Rooney does, and he. Uh, when does a when does a forest lose its virginity? I mean, it is just powerful. <laughs> it's unbelievable all around. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And then he was just taking videos of all the women that work at the office, being like, why do yeah. the women like the water? Anyway. Yeah, they were like, it was the security blanket. It's just yeah. the fucking, it's so funny, man, that he did this so often. Like, because he also was like a very serious newsman, right? I don't remember a lot about it. I mean, it's, he was like Leslie Nielsen, right? So Leslie Nielsen started. And he was like, that's yeah, a very, very serious thing. actor. But now, I mean, Rand, Andy Rooney's in, he's an op-ed. He's a, he has always been an opinion-based Yeah, dude. Uh, he was doing a few minutes with Andy Rooney. He did it from 1978 until 2011. That's the fucking... That's incredible. That's and incredible. He, sa- he stopped doing it in 2011 at the age of 92 and died a month later. Oh, my God. That's going to happen to us. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. The podcast is going to end, and we're just going to fade into the background. <laughs> if, we, if it ends at 92, when we're hey, 92. Man. You, you have mouth to see and see. Right. Hey, ben, how get... long my be- how long in inches my beard is, I don't know. Hey, you know, hey, Ben, you know, computers make it easier to do a lot of things, but most of the things they make it easier to do don't need to be done. <sighs> <laughs> A veg- get him. Ve- vegetarian, that's an old Indian word meaning lousy hunter. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, Andy Rooney. I mean, it's paradoxical. You know that the idea of living a long life appeals to everyone, but the idea of getting old doesn't appeal to anyone. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Jeez. What are we doing here? Do gas pumps even work in this country? Do <laughs> gas pumps even work in this country? No, he is just a absolute national hero. He is a treasure. He's a treasure. I, I miss, treasure. I miss oh, a treasure. light because it's about not – it's not a hot take. No, he wasn't it's, taking on abortion. He was talking about <laughs> bottled water. He talks about license plates. He talks yes, about uh-huh. if, you, if you go out – and you're a waiter, and you like don't have a good time with Andy Rooney, then you're going to be on the show. Be like, why do why are waiters always yelling at me and kicking me out of the restaurants? Like he gets <laughs> that's mad. A, that's not even a rhetorical question. You're just getting kicked out of restaurants all the yeah, time because you're exactly. you're a bad customer. Well, there you go. There yeah. you go. Now he's no, got a good brunette. I'll tell you what. He, Kissel's not used gas pumps material. He hasn't done that. He's not talking about bottled water. You don't know what he, on the live show. Kissel's unpredictable. I'll he's do a whole thing on bottled water. Yeah. You will do a whole thing on bottled water. You could do a whole thing on fruit plates. That's Vegetable how we Vegetable plates. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So give me some on fruit plates. Let's, gi- let's give them something. Give them some. All right. Hey, do something on scotch tape. <laughs> Ooh, scotch tape. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Scott, um, scotch, you know, I'm here and I uh, broke my nail the other day and... Um, <laughs> And I went to get some tape, and then it turns out I'm Irish, and they they only had Scotch tape, so I couldn't use it. All why, right, why do I care where the tape is from? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, it. He wrapped it up. <laughs> you, you wrapped it up. All right, all right, all right, Ben. I got something for you. Do a thing on this Desert Storm card of General Colin Powell. Oh. <sighs> Um, baseball players, NFL players, what do those things have in common? They deserve to have baseball cards. Why do I need to look at who's fighting the wars when on base on cards when oh. Quick, change it to the highlighter pen. Jump on the highlighter pen. Jump on the highlighter pen. Yeah, everyone has highlighter pens, but have you written anything worth highlighting? <laughs> All right. They did pretty it. good. He pre proved it. He Technically, did it. that's it. That's it. you know that that material is worth more than what people we charge for the show. Yeah, that really is. Andy Rooney. also got this card on frigates. It's just frigates. Oh, look at that! What's mm-hmm. a frigate? What is Big that? Boat. Is it a, it's a boat. Is it a launch? Is it where the plane? Look at the picture. Land? Show them the picture of what a frigate is. You just <laughs> saw it. No, that's no, it. That's what a frigate is. Oh, that's a that's a war machine. 
Mm -hmm. It's a boat. I don't fuck with that. Oh, yeah, they're Desert Storm cards. They carry a mix of anti-aircraft, anti-ship, and anti-submarine weapon systems. They're dope. All yeah. right. You got to get to them. You don't get them until you unlock iron in uh, Civ 6. Okay. Let's and you get frigates, and monkey. then you use... Uh, frigates are actually really nice, because frigates... And then you have ironclads. The ironclads are also, like... Technically, video, they're better for defense. This video mm. is sweet, but also sad, because it's a monkey in a zoo. But I just like the way the monkey laughs at the end. So let's just watch this video. Oh, Lace Caltech, congratulations on getting engaged. Congratulations. Congratulations. So he's got a little thing. Jerry loves to play with those little things. I don't know what they are. They come up, they fall off of the trees all the time. So Monkey's like, what the heck's going on? And he's like, all right. Ain't shit in there. <laughs> and he he loves it. And he, he can't loves believe it. it. It's gone. What was in there is now gone. And this one, you can't get enough of it. God, you really it's that easy, man. <laughs> I wish it was that easy to be funny, Look man. Look at that oh, It's like you just fucking Crazy crushed guy. it. Oh, no, wow. Now gonna... you're going to give it to him? <coughs> That's not food. That's actually I have the same dangerous. arms as an orangutan. Yeah, kind of. You actually have the same, very similar, uh, actually both of us have very similar uh, orangutan uh, colors. Coloring, yeah. You do, yeah. yeah. yeah you're do. both orangutan colored. I wish, I wish they, I wish... We're so close. 98.8% shared DNA. You're about to say you wish you could fuck an orangutan legally? <laughs> no, I wish I could own one and hang out with it, but then that's not what they want. That's not slavery. Not freaking face off. No, no. no. Uh, an orangutan would have to choose to come to your home. Yes, yeah. and then it would be like, it would be like, okay, Mr. Orangutan, you can do whatever you would like here. Please don't rip my face off. Do no, orangutans, are orangutans just as violent as chimps? I orangutans? Think, I don't think so. Like, can you have an orangutan as a pet easier no. than a chimp? Because a chimp, because also we know, like, a chimp gets to a certain age and it rips your fucking face off in your hands. I don't think that you can. Huh. Orangutans are generally non-aggressive towards humans and each other. Oh. So then why do people have chimps and, like, mechanics? Orang orangutans are 400 pounds. I guess that's true. You gotta feed like these like a little 50-pounder and you just be like... Honestly, hey, I watched that show too large fucking bigger than this about the same size as the two women on that show they ate fine they were yeah, doing you're fine not they had a asking, car. but you, so you want them as pets man did you see too have you seen too large no that i don't first watch episode, those shows man. i can't the only the only good episode is the first episode is i watched it? five episodes oh, the man. first Four more bad ones the okay. yes i had to check. You watch five episodes of too large too large it's, i don't too the first large. episode they didn't even the first they episode, they have it. a very interesting dynamic. They have two large women who are friends and roughly the same weight, but one of them starts to lose weight and suddenly hates the other one. Hates the it other starts one. looking down on the other one well, for not losing weight as fast. But that same woman starts the episode by stepping out of bed onto dude. a pee pad. And she can't herself. get to the bathroom, so oh. she steps out of the bed. That's the first thing she does. She can't go to the bathroom, so she pisses her pants through her pants onto the pee pad every morning. So she's got her other friend, and they're just as big as each other, but because the other one is mobile, she's like, well, I, I'm white Beyonce. I'm hot. She's Hollywood. Anyway, yeah, she's like, she, she's, like, she's I can one upping. She's high roading the other large woman. Yeah, but, okay. uh, but. <laughs> I actually, you know, yeah. I don't know. Because... But no, but the rest of the episodes are like very cookie cutter, like uh, weight loss journey stuff. Sure. Uh, the first yeah. one has that funk, though. Has like that? Yeah. Like, it has like that the yeah. conflict. Special. Yeah. What you well, want uh, from a reality show? I forget the names of the bad bunny or big bunny girls or whatever uh, rubby bunnies. They have the show on the teeth, Thousand Pound Sisters. Mm. The the one that is a little bit thinner has found a lot of candy. Uh, in the room of the one that's quite larger, and like I think she's cheating on her diet. But anyway, yeah. let's watch. And get healthy. One one last reality show thing. One of my favorite reality shows actually t stars actually died last week. Who? Tracy Tracy Wagaman from Clinton Tracy from Love After Lockup. Yes, goddess. She, but yeah, goddess. She fucking died, and What's they her won't name? tell Wegeman? us why or how. Wegeman? Tracy Wagaman. She had a kid, and then like two weeks later, just fucking died, and they will not release her cause of death. COVID. I oh don't God. think it's that hard to suss out. It's drugs. It's drugs. It's absolutely drugs. I mean, she. But we gotta say, fly high, goddess. Fly, fly high. high. Fly high, goddess. Right. I hope. I hope Clint, who is also a meth head, 
Uh, they were like, that's the funny. Clint was high roading her the whole time. Yes. Talk, telling her that she was like, oh, why are you always doing meth? When he himself was also a meth head that later got arrested for being a meth head and had also done time for being a meth Clint head. Clint was like the the kid in class who always asked for homework, but if that kid was also on meth. <laughs> like, he was a goody two shoe <laughs> guy, but he was also yeah. secretly on meth. So it was yeah. very interesting, said, contradictory. Much, very interesting. Meth head also just sounds like you're just a fan of meth. You know, I realized like after a while, it just sounds like all oh, like oh, meth head. meth head. You know, like all right, let's watch this dog win a race. Yeah, absolutely. So you can see here there's people running. Now this is not on the show that we're talking about. And people can run. Yes, they can. They can run. Yeah. But the dog also can. Oh, it spots right Mitsubishi. Uh, Look at the dog. dog. And these guys are like, oh no, could the dog actually win this? Uh-huh. And dogs like little... actually faster than men. I think that we can run further. But yeah. Dogs probably can run faster, slower, or faster in shorter distance. Because now this really gets heated. Because this dog is like, oh shit, you want to be serious, dude? That's so cute. Oh my god, dogs, that's so cute. Dogs looking over. And this dog is about to win this oh my god. race by a landslide. The dog wins easy. Wow, the dog did it. The, oh, dog, wow. the guy oh, pulled it. Oh. I didn't even make it. This guy got <laughs> injured. It's worse to you lose to a dog, and then halfway through you fall over, you break your ankle. What a nightmare. Oh, that's um, so cute. But that's actually kind of Isn't that weird the dogs are faster than us? They're faster than us for a small distance, but then that's why the human was able to survive because we can run, 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 run. And then I got a car. And now we have cars. Um, do you guys ever see that stuff crust video, that, that stuff crust pizza commercial with uh, Jim Brewer freaking out? <laughs> oh, yes. Have you yes. seen this, Marcus? What is it? Jim Brewer. Remember when he did the stuffed crust pizza commercials? Yeah. Uh, I remember Jim Brewer and I remember stuffed crust pizza, but the two of them <laughs> together escapes me. Well, let's watch this thing. video. Now, this video, I actually completely agree with Jim Brewer. He's shooting this video. He wants a bite of the goddamn pizza he's hawking, and the one dude is so aggressive. Let's just watch it. It, push, it pushes Jim over the edge. Ready? Here we are, also, ready. you think and how many takes does it done. take to get these sentences? What's the line to how long these Stuff crust pan pizza, kaboom. Okay, kaboom. Stuff crust pan pizza, kaboom. Here we are, ready? And action. Stuff crust pan pizza, kaboom. Got, got, got. Then watch this guy come in. Pizza. I know it's for you. He wants to eat it right there. Let's go. One more take, please. The next one, though. Next one, I'm going to eat it. All right, here we go. Rolling. And mark it. That's good, too. Stuffed ready, Jim? Ready? Pizza. And action. Stuffed crust pan pizza. Kaboom! Yeah. Right. 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 You need to be a little less in the eyes. This has to be a bit. This has to be a bit. Like, this can't... Dude, I do the freak out, he seems very real. Do it's done. All right. Okay. Here we go. Very serious, bro. Quietly, please. Here we go again. Rolling. It's fun. It's for... And... It's for the... Company. Marking. Quiet, please. Here we go. Ready? And action. One more time. Here we go. And action. Relax. I'm not even a bite. He's like this. Like a, He's like, like, ready like to I'm take taking his pizza. He is, honestly. Don't, don't be taking me pizza, son. Don't, don't be taking Jason my pizza. Jason Burke also said on his so season pizza, pizza. he wasn't allowed to eat pizza. Just, just say it. One don't time. Even think sorry, about sorry. It. Don't think about it. Ready? What is it? Stuffed crust pan pizza. Stuffed crust pan pizza. 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 Crust and pizza. pizza. Kaboom. Here we go. Ready? And action. Stuffed crust pan pizza. Kaboom. Cut. Perfect. Kaboom. Look at this. Dude, don't roll up on me, man. Relax, man. Now we're going to shoot this. Dude, why are you even following me? And why is, it, why is this not a problem when everyone else, if this guy keeps coming near me? Hey, hey, come on. Okay, real straight right here. Whoa. No. Oh. That's not a fucking, it's not real, man. Right. That's not fucking real, dude. <laughs> Stuff crust pan pizza. Kaboom. Kaboom. Well, how, towards the think end, about it maybe how, got a little bit goofy. But. Do you know what it was? Is that it's when you isolate those tags, you can really hear like how stupid that shit is and how how long those days are. It's 12 hours of saying the worst shit that you have to say all day. And so you're just like, just give me my pizza. Give me my pizza. <laughs> Jason right, Burke, who's on the new Caesars pizza, he, they wouldn't yes. allow him to eat the pizza. 
and the huh. LPN show. Let's watch this guy weld in, and then this is just what we'll go out on. I have a few more. If you guys want to check him out yourself, Michael Bay, he can't talk without a prompter, which is kind of a funny thing. But let's watch this guy weld. This is just we bad welding. This is bad. Oh. Mm. I have a massive respect for the welder. Welding is very difficult, apparently. I want to do Wait, it, though. Not... I want to learn how to weld. He's not welding. He's just using his cut. Cutting, yeah. Cutting. So he but he's know doing it poorly. Is that what it is? Well, you'll see here. It, 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 uh... yeah, there you go. That you just live <laughs> death on the fucking stream. You ended by showing yeah. a man die on the stream. <laughs> no, you heard him go, wow. Oh. Oh. So he's alive going. I think that, I think that oh. was Michael Jackson. Yeah, in that was Michael Jackson. Wow. Soft crust. Well, it's either it. way. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for uh, watching another fantastic Nothing tr but hour. truth today, man. Yeah, Nothing man. but truth. <laughs> We're and, handling yeah. it. We're doing thank, it. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the road. Hail hey, Mark, away, you know, let's get Mark. Marcus, what do you want to plug? What up? Do a plug. What does he got? What does he got to plug? Well, I want to plug. I want to plug Nicorette gum Fuck for yeah, dude. milligrams. Hook him up, Nicorette. Yes, Hook him up. Get... Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. I eat so much of this stuff. I got this earlier today. It's uh, too expensive, but it's a good price point still for Nicorette um, pocket pack. I love okay. the pocket pack. Kaboom. Give it to him, man. Nick Kaboom. Kaboom. Can pick up your yeah. boys. Nick Rat. Right there, Nick Rat. Kaboom. Nick Rat gum. Four milligram. Kaboom. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Kill yourselves, everyone. Bye. <laughs> it's fucking. I got it.